in the issue of homelessness on the streets has gotten so bad that even the San Francisco mayor has given up the ghost, that San Francisco mayor has said they're going to take the inability of them to get the homeless off the street to the U.S. Supreme Court. So right now, the Ninth Circuit, in what seems like quite a strange decision to my mind, says that the the government cannot get the homeless off the streets. I mean, it's a little bit more complicated but, than that, but not by much, right? If it's like, if you don't have shelters for them to go to, if you don't have somewhere for them to go to, you have no right to push them off the streets, which doesn't make any sense, by the way, because whether the government has shelters or not, the streets are public property. They belong to the public in a public way where the public not for any individual person. An individual person can't set up camp because they are literally trying to appropriate a piece of the public for themselves, turn the public into a private because they're trying to turn it into their exclusive use, which, you know, not so much. Well, you know, this was, you know, the darlings of the progressives. Isn't it so great that the courts say that the homeless can't be forced off the street? And now years and decades later, even the San Francisco mayor is saying, oh, oh, yeah. Our inability to force the homeless off the streets is a real problem. We can't help noticing the streets, you know, literally smell like poo. I've been there. They literally smell like poo, and it's a real problem. And so maybe we should be able to force the homeless off the streets. It's nice when even the far left finally gives up the ghost and realizes, yeah, this isn't working. So they finally realize they've made bad choices. Let's learn a little bit more about this. The San Francisco mayor has expressed displeasure about a federal court order that restricts the city's ability to clear homeless encampments. This has been the law for some time. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, in their infinite wisdom, essentially said, you can't clear the homeless off the streets unless you have somewhere for them to go. And then, of course, San Francisco can't build places for them to go because of nimbyism. Everyone's like, not in my backyard. You know, oh, the homeless should have shelters. But not here, not like that, right? So California and San Francisco in particular, have so many regulations when it comes to building new properties, so many things and so many permits and so much red tape that they can't build new homeless shelters. So they can't force them to leave until they have homeless shelters and they can't build the homeless shelters because everyone, you know, wants to, it's like, ah, oh, we should have more, more homeless shelters, but not near me and not like that, right? So it's like, okay, well, maybe we should, we should have the ability to clear them off the streets anyway. So the San Francisco mayor finally joining the based in saying, hey, the homeless don't have the right to just be wherever they want anytime. The San Francisco mayor is expected to speak at a protest out the side of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals the same day that city are asking for the federal appellate court to toss out the injunction. How hilarious. The 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 San Francisco mayor is like, oh yeah, you know, we yeah, oh it's good. It's good that the homeless are allowed to be everywhere where they want. Oh wait, no, it's not. And so she's actually going so far as to protest outside the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, begging the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals to reverse its own decision that is preventing this from happening. Members of the Board of Supervisors of San Francisco and residents are also expected to attend the rally. During the meeting of San Francisco's Chamber of Commerce, the mayor said the city has to be able to clear the streets. Wow. When the city of San Francisco's mayors becomes based, you know, it's truly the time for the apocalypse. The San Francisco mayor says, I get that people suffer from mental illness. I get they suffer from addiction. And I know these things are complicated. But if we have a place for people to move, you should not be forced to just allow people to be on the sidewalk. Uh-huh. Yeah. On Wednesday, the city attorney will ask a three-judge panel to invalidate the injunction, which prohibits the city from enforcing specific laws, which I'm not sure the three-judge panel can do, incidentally, because of the precedent that already exists on this issue. So I think they're going to lose at the three-judge panel because the judges have already said, the three-judge panel has already said in the past, basically, you can't do this. So I'm not sure the three-judge panel has the right to do this. So they'll have to ask the Ninth Circuit for en banc. Or maybe they'll appeal to the Supreme Court and be like, hey, Supreme Court, save us. So the, the mayor of San Francisco may be going to the U.S. Supreme Court to beg for permission to clear the homelessness off the streets. How very, very based. Fun. The Coalition on Homelessness had sued the city in 2022, accusing city officials of violating federal precedent and illegally destroying unhoused people, that would be the homeless, belongings during encampment sweeps. So yeah, that, that is the law right now, according to the Ninth Circuit. You can't force them to move. You can't take away their property. You can't, you can't remove their property from the streets. It's private property, even though it's in a public place. It's private property. You can't, 
You can't remove their things, and that's their home. You can't just remove their things anytime you want. Uh huh. So the Coalition of Homelessness sued the city, saying you're violating federal precedent, which at the moment they are. They are violating the precedent because that's how dumb the Ninth Circuit is. Among other objections, the city argued the injunction conflicts with an earlier settlement that ordered the city to clear encampments near the University of California College of Law, and the courts had insufficiently determined what it means to be involuntarily homeless. How fun. San Francisco getting hoisted on their own patales. Only that far-right Supreme Court may help them. And then watch them complain publicly about the Supreme Court deciding in their favor. That will just be the extra cherry on top. They go to the Supreme Court begging for permission to fix their own policies because they can't do it, and then they blame the Supreme Court as the heel. That'll be fun. The Supreme Court mayor plugged the rally for Wednesday morning and asked the business community to also join in the protest. Members of the Harvey Milk LGBTQ plus minus sign 2A divided by sign ampersand squiggly mark society and the San Francisco Latinx Democratic Club are organizing an opposing protest that supports the homelessness lawsuit according to an invitation. So yeah, the, the left is fighting the left on this issue of the homelessness. So yeah, it's fun times by all. Thus, that brings us to the end of the case for the moment about how San Francisco might be asking the Supreme Court of the United States for permission to clear homeless off their own street because the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is so left that they said that the homeless have the right to just occupy public property. They have a right to set up the tent and put out their, put out their property in the public, which doesn't make any sense. It's public property. It doesn't belong to any one person. No one person can just take it. Basically, they have, basically, they have adversely possessed the public. Which is not something, incidentally, you can do, by the way. Adverse possession doesn't apply to public property, but it does in the Ninth Circuit, apparently, because the Ninth Circuit's like, you can't force them to leave. If they want to be on the homeless, they want to be there, you can't force them to leave. And they're like, yay, progressivism. And then, you know, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, and they're like, oh, oh no, this is a real problem. We can't allow this. So yeah, the San Francisco mayor is going to the Ninth Circuit, where they'll certainly lose, by the way, because I'm not sure the three-judge panel can rule in their favor. So they're going to lose at the Ninth Circuit. Then I suppose they could ask the Ninth Circuit on bonk, but I wouldn't bet them to fix anything. So then we're off to the U.S. Supreme Court. So the U.S. So this and, and the San Francisco mayor might be begging the U.S. Supreme Court to fix their own liberal backwards policies. How fun! But until that happens, that brings us to the end of discussion of this case.